Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for January 28th to February 10th. I wanna thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And also my darling, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may wanna check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so first we're gonna go through your astrology and whatever that message is, whatever spirit wants you to know. Then we're gonna move into your romantic love life and see who's coming towards you. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So I've realized from the last few readings I've done, the best way of doing this, guys, is just laying down all the cards first and just getting the overall energy, just letting my intuition kind of tune into what's going on. All right, so what's, how is Pisces astrology gonna be affected for January 28th to February 10th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So let's stay down the cards here. Seventh house, which deals with relationships, which deals with partnerships, which deals with the public. The moon card energy, which deals with your intuition, which deals with the fourth house. Scorpio energy, eighth house, so that's hidden obsessions, passion stuff, <laughs> other people's money. All right. We got sixth house, which deals with work, health, healing. All right, um, I'm just gonna lay down all the cards first and then we're just gonna look at everything, okay? How is Pisces astrology gonna be shifted for January 28th to February 10th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. 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 That makes sense. Things are going to be highly emotional, guys. So be careful this next couple weeks. Because we got the moon and we got Scorpio energy. You know, that's a water, a lot of water energy there. And sixes can, six house can talk about arguments, disputes, enemies, you know, dealing with enemies, or just can be arguing, debating stuff. All right, so what's gonna, what's, uh, how's um, Pisces astrology gonna be affected for January 28th to February 10th? Show me cards you need to see, show me cards you need to see. Oh, come on, Spirit, give me one more shuffle on this. Okay. 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 All right. I see exactly what it is. All right. It is something to do with a relationship, though. Um, one of you guys wants to keep things in order, wants to keep things in a very structured way. Okay. I'm, not, I'm saying this could be a partnership, okay, this could be a marriage relationship, this could be just someone you're in a relationship with, but um, this is talking about there's gonna be a frustration because one of the people in this partnership, whether that be a romantic or a business, one of these people in this partnership is going to want to spend a little bit more resources than they should, uh, and uh, they may have kept some stuff from you about it. Uh, so it's gonna cause some frustration this week. Some arguments or debating about this uh, situation uh, because something is gonna come to light and someone's gonna point it out. Like, look at this, look at this. You see this? What's up with this? All right, what's up with this? Why are you using the resources like this? Okay, so this could cause some kind of commitment to be tested because it's something to do with the past. And there was concerns that, you know, there may be a situation here. There may be some frustration about it. There may be an argument that happens from it. Uh, a lot of emotions are gonna be at play because of the certain perception about it. And uh, someone could have found out, you know, because you got the Scorpio energy. Something is being brought to light. Something is illuminating this. Someone is really pointing this out. It's like. Okay, so you really wanted this. So let's, let's go across here. It's saying, 
I want a sense of order, a sense of structure here, and I want to be happy here in the situation, but something is being brought to light, something is noticed here about resources. Some argument or fight, some concerns about the situation and issues about nothing happening around a situation, and then there's concerns about the past, something to do with the past, something pertaining to the past, something is brought to light. You can see, like something was in the dark, but then all of a sudden, like you can see, like the clouds are clearing away, and then we can see this glaring thing from the past. And then you see, like, still some things that may still, there's concerns, there may be some things, other things you feel like are some issues here that you're not seeing, but some of it's being brought to light. And you can see my commitment is being tested, right? So this has to do with relationships, marriage partners, okay, contracts. And we see the moon saying, okay, something emotional, something you're perceiving, something to do with your intuition. Scorpio says some kind of investigation, something that was hidden, something to do with uh, other people's money, okay, something to do with a loan, okay, inheritance, wills, okay, so taxes. Okay, so then we got the sixth house going on. This just deal with enemies, debating, arguing, okay? Health and healing. So I get the sense that it will be brought into harmony, but just don't try not to get frustrated or, you know, try to handle it in a way that can be harmonious. That's what I get the sense of. I know that you want this to be in a certain way because we see this card of uh, wanting to control some of these things, having a, a good hold on it and feeling happy about that. But then when this thing is brought to light, it's like, oh, what did you do with this resources? Why did you handle it this way? Okay, so I want to get more information here. Okay, so we see there's enthusiasm about this sense of independence because of inheritance or some kind of long-term money situation and wanting to escape the situation. So it's like, as a result of this, it's like, I don't know if I want to be in this partnership anymore. I want to go off on my own. I want a sense of independence. It's really a lot of a, a enthusiasm about that because of this money situation and wanting to escape this situation going further. Yeah, see, there's an argument over commitment or contract. And going further, when it comes to an organization or organizing things and a risk that was taken and which is going to cause some issues here. So somebody's going to come at someone else about it, about taking that risk when it comes to this situation. I want to get some advice to you guys considering this. I don't like to, to leave a, a reading very negative like that. Um, but it's something you have to watch out for. It's something you need to know about. So let's get some advice to you guys. When it comes to the situation spirit of how their astrology is going to be affected this week, Pisces, can I have some advice for them if their highest best good for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I get the sense you're going to be able to go the distance here to get what you want. Okay. Pay attention to the sign. Listen to your intuition. You have a solid foundation here, but you don't want to keep going around in circles here. Things have to be done by the book. Get, get some support from others. You may be surprised, happily surprised about this. And it's saying you'll be able to fulfill what you want here in your happiness. You are blessed. But there may be some things you have to adjust about the situation. You're going to have to resolve this situation from the past. You know what the bigger picture is here. The grass isn't greener on the other side or reveal what's going on with you beneath the surface. Right? Justice can talk about something legal, just choice, just decision, or a decision you need to make here about this new situation and a partnership. It may be time to walk away. We see that there is something to do with people involved with the situation. Something has to be an equal exchange around the situation because you don't want to have regrets about this. But you do need to bring peace to the situation. You don't want to be stuck between two different worlds here but you will be able to go the distance if you want to overcome some kind of barriers or issues here. We see you can have a victory here. We see follow your heart. When the timing is right, listen to your intuition. So a lot of it is saying you already know deeply what to do about it, to listen to your intuition and follow your heart, what you feel is true to you about this situation, okay? But obviously it is gonna be something that you need to know in the next couple weeks. I know this is a very specific message for some of you guys, but... Uh, I can't control those messages that spirit wants you to know. I'm only here as guidance, okay? I just want you guys to know. I know you guys are going to come at me in the comments. I'm only here as guidance. All right. So 
What's that? My Pisces romantic love life for January 28th to February 10th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. But I get the sense that a lot of times these readings are here as hindsight. So you guys can know, okay, I know what's coming, right? So I can react a different way or I can expect it instead of being like so shocked and surprised about this situation when it is brought to light. So you already have that foresight, that knowledge of like, okay, this is what's going to be going on. All right. So we got the three of cups. We got the judgment card energy. We have the nine of wands energy. We have the 10 of cups. We have the world card energy. We have the six of wands. We have the Nine of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. It doesn't feel to me that that situation was to do with romance because I am not really seeing those types of things. I mean, we'll see, but I'm not really seeing those types of things in the card for romance. Four Pentacles coming towards you, Ace of Pentacles. Now, it could be for some of you guys, but we can see that in your romantic love life, there is a true love here, is the overall energy, and an offer of love strong desires here. Somebody who is defeated about this situation. And again, we see another travel card. So it could be somebody who's far away. We see there's a friendship. Who's coming towards you is somebody that really wants to hold on to you. Somebody who really wants to hold on to you, okay? And also we see what's your influence in romantic love life, Pisces? The timing is right. It's a good timing here. And wow, what is the advice but the Ace of Pentacles, an offer, an opportunity. Okay, so let's get more clarity here so we can see so far that there is this friendship and this joyful energy in somebody who wants to apologize to you wants things to go in their favor but it seems like you're a little bit cautious defensive about it okay so let's see potential signs of your situation aries sagittarius leo energy taurus Virgo, capricorn energy so What's going to have my Pisces romantic love life for January 28th to February 10th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. I want to lay down the law. I want to lay down some kind of restrictions, boundaries. Surprised about this. We see something to do with ending, stopping, completion. I want the restrictions, boundaries to end, stop, or complete. Someone's surprised about this. Okay. What's going to have my Pisces romantic love life? For January 28th to February 10th, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There's a friend who is a new love. Okay, so we do see that the Ace of Cups was at the bottom, so this is a new love situation. Happiness, happy outcome, a decision you have to make. But you're a little bit cautious, defensive about it. There is somebody who wants complete happiness with you with the Ten of Cups energy. And you see a, a stable house, family situation. There's concerns that maybe they're not telling the truth. Maybe they're holding back from you, not saying everything. The World Card talks about some kind of accomplishment or completion here in marriage or commitment to make the effort. There is a person who has very strong chemistry and passion for you with the King of Wands energy, and they're at a loss here, and they're a bit shocked and surprised. Okay, so we have this offer of love being presented. New love, possibly for some of you guys. Happiness around this, and it looks like it could be a friend. And they're kind of like laying down the law, like, okay, look, I want to be more than just friends here, okay? Um, I really want to say, okay, look, I don't want anyone else to get you because I'm very attracted to you and I'm looking for something a little bit more. You're a little bit shocked and surprised by this or you feel like maybe there's something about this could be something about it that may be too good to be true. All right. So there's a lot of worries and concerns about being foolish and you're listening to your intuition about it and it's like really weighing heavy on you. We see there's a burden, a responsibility, because possibly some of you guys are far away from this person, like there's some travel involved with this. And you're a little bit of a crossroads here. So it looks like by the Queen of Pentacles is saying you're getting some kind of advice. Most of the times I see Queens is giving, giving advice or getting somebody giving advice. So, and this is a patient energy and a lot of contemplation about what to do. Yeah, we see there's an infringing person, so it's something to do with some advice 
about this opportunity. So you got this new love, looks like it's a friend, okay? There's concerns that maybe it's too good to be true, so you're listening to your intuition. There's a happy, you know, happiness around it and making the effort, but you're a little bit indecisive, I get the sense, because possibly this is an online connection or something far away about between you and, and this person. And so you're trying to make a decision. You're shocked and surprised about this opportunity, okay? So you are. And my God, so many signs in the next couple weeks are getting these offers. So that's very interesting. Okay, so looks like you'll have to make a decision about this and they're look, looking for something serious here. And we see the wedding card like marriage. So we see socializing, stressing about being patient. We see money and finance and a friend. Knowledge of some needing some time alone because of family long term and delays and challenges and obsessing about this power move. Okay. Restrictions and boundaries because of house and home, feeling like maybe I'm foolish about this surprise when it comes to marriage and a travel movement or change or travel movement change ends. We see a loss of um, this other party or a lot of self-doubt. You're wanting to take away some kind of self-doubt. You may also have some self-doubt because of the fact that you were hurt before because we got the nine of wands energy. So we see a friendship and a very strong happiness energy, but worries and concerns about this apology or some kind of reconciliation. How to accomplish or complete this because the world could be travel. Some burdens and responsibility, really defensive, feeling like I should I have my wall up here. We have the King of Wands, very strong attraction. We see someone's giving some kind of advice. Queen of Pentacles energy, patient energy to figure out what to do. Okay, so let's bring it all together. Now the timing is right as the influence, okay? We do see that there is this self-doubt or this infringing party. Well, obviously you're getting some advice from somebody who is an outside person or this person could be. And we see this person has uncertainty about where they stand. Maybe they also have concerns. Maybe they think that you have someone new and that's the reason why it's going the way it is, okay? So we see timing is right for you. Wheel of Fortune energy, luck is on your side, timing is right, this person doesn't know where they stand with you. Okay, who's coming towards you? Someone who wants to hold on to you. Someone you've been waiting for. Single and available to pursue or someone who has been isolated or separated. Or someone who is isolated or separated. Okay, what's your advice? Your advice, Ace of Pentacles, offer. So money, family, children, long-term, huge offer, new beginning. Advice, listen to your intuition. Advice, lean on the other person for support. This is a nurturing, supportive energy. Usually I see this card's like the Queen of Pentacles energy. Self-love is essential at this time to address your needs and get yourself grounded. So lean on someone to help you ground your energy and listen to your intuition about this offer. Okay, but don't worry, I'm gonna get more advice here. Can I have some advice for my Pisces when it comes to their highest best good for the best possible outcome for them? January 28th to February 10th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So Spirit is saying follow your heart. What does your heart tell you about this situation? <laughs> You're about to be in awe and wonder about this situation with this person. There's some kind of reflecting going on between you and this person. We see this self-love going on. So I also get the sense with the self-love card is like, okay, when we have a strong sense of self, we know exactly what we want. We know what we would see as an ideal partner, what we see would see as a good situation for us. So have a strong sense of self, be in all and wonder and follow your heart. Patience. So there's no need to rush. Enjoy the show with this engagement over. Everyone is your teacher. Positive thoughts and thinking and stay inspirational. So stay positive in your thoughts about this situation. Again, spirit is like ground yourself. You can preserve this situation. You have more power than what you realize. You are worthy to your ultimate happiness. Give yourself some time to think about this because you have beauty and attraction here, okay? But you also wanna have peacefulness in your heart. And you don't want to be triggered by this situation because it's all of a sudden here. And be strong and be authentic about what you want. So obviously you know this is happening spontaneously all of a sudden. And so
So get ready. And it just seems like this is the next two weeks is it seems like that's what's going on. It seems like a lot of this stuff is happening where things are happening very fast, very quick, uh, very sudden. So my darlings, I do read my comments. I love to hear from you guys. If you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, I would love to hear from you. Um, also, if you claim this reading, this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.